Hey everyone, Jen Decker here with this week's edition of AEW Top 5. A lot has changed in the last week, not only for AEW, but across the country. We hope that we were able to provide you a space where you feel seen and included, and most importantly, safe. This week's Dynamite, like all Dynamites, was for you, the fans. And we loved interacting with you guys throughout the show and tallying up all your Top 5 submissions. I'll admit, this week's list includes quite a few surprises, so what do you say we kick things off? Here are the Top 5 Moments of Dynamite, as voted on by you, the fans. Coming in at number five, he's the youngest member of the Inner Circle and one half of Sex Gods. But could Sammy Guevara be following in Chris Jericho's footsteps towards a music career? The Spanish Gods serenaded us all to a rousing rendition of Judas on Wednesday night when Chris Jericho faced off against Cole Cabana. Sure, it was a little pitchy at times, but you can't deny his passion for the musical arts. I have carved out this soul made of stone. I have found out that I I become, I become, I become man. I become, I become, I become man. Judas in, Judas in my mind. I become, I become, I become man. I become, I become, I become man. Judas in, Judas in my mind. Not sure about the rock part, but he's definitely got the roll down these days. Sorry, Sammy. After defeating Cole Cabana in singles competition on Wednesday night, Le Champion meant no words when it came to calling out Mike Tyson after their scuffle in the ring last week. Jericho called out for the baddest man on the planet to come out and face him, and out walked Orange Cassidy. And you guys loved every minute of it, making it your number four moment of the week. Are you scared? I'm gonna say it one more time. I want the baddest man on the planet. <laughs> Chris Jericho just got his wish! Freshly squeezed, homogenized, and apparently the baddest man on the planet. Last week, uh, Morris, he, took, he didn't take a shortcut, he just walked right through the shot. Remember Jericho was doing that, that interview or something? Yeah, he could have walked around, but Cassidy saw the, the shortest path to the destination and he took it as the crow flies, or as the orange rolls. He's walking like a miniature Clint Eastwood. And they tried to ruin his chance in the battle royal, and he almost won the thing. <laughs> Putting Le Champion's hands in his pocket. That looks about right. Look at Hager's expression. <laughs> I guess it's a, a show of respect from... Oh! Hager, Hager swinging a miss. Jericho swinging a miss. The elusive Orange Cassidy. He may be the quickest man on the planet. And he, there's his buddies. Best friends bringing him over the rail. Orange avoided all contact. Oh, well, here come the troops now. Santana and Ortiz coming to Jericho and Hager's aid. Not sure if OC's got Tyson's blessing to use the moniker, but no disagreements from this girl. Brian Cage has only been here for two weeks and already has a path of destruction in his wake. After all, who can stop the path of Cage? But after being provoked by Taz, we were treated to a wild John Moxley who stared down the giant machine in the center of the ring. The two are set to face off next month at Fighter Fest for the AEW World Championship. But until then, it's your number three moment of the week. Brian Cage. You are impressive, the machine. Seemingly indestructible. I am far from indestructible. I am only human. I can be beat. But dude, it would take you all night long. And that's my point. You were right, Taz, when you said Brian Cage is a different thing entirely than anybody else in AEW. But I am a different thing entirely. Taking the AEW World Championship away from me is a different prospect entirely. And you are going to find that out at Fighter Fest when you're in over your head. 
and you realize you are swimming with a different breed of shark. With all due respect, gentlemen, don't waste your time or mine trying to intimidate me. And the next time you want to bring my name up on TV, just remember exactly who the hell you're talking about. Coming in at the two spot, Wednesday night marked the American Nightmare Cody's first ever TNT Championship title defense against the winner of last week's Battle Royal, Jungle Boy. Cody's vowed to defend the title every week on AEW Dynamite throughout his reign, and if last night's match was any indication of the lengths he'll go to keep that title around his waist, well, we're in for a real treat. Jungle Boy and Cody in a very precarious position here. Oh, they're both on top, both on the top turnbuckle there. They're up there in severe no man's land. Cody laying in some right hands and oh, oh no! My God. Good God Almighty! Off the top through the table. Arn Anderson can't believe it. Who's going to survive this? For God's sakes! We might get a double count out, which would be unfortunate for Jungle Boy and yes, the fans. Yes, yeah, absolutely. They were so unstable on the top rope. They were trading shots. I think just a, a minor shift in Jungle's, Jungle Boy's weight sent Cody off the top. There was that minor shift. Good call there, Excalibur. You're right. Now Cody got back up quickly. And Jungle Boy was trapped under the table for, for a moment. The bloody champion has uh, dodged several bullets here. And I don't think the chamber's totally empty for Jungle Boy because he just keeps on coming. Cody going over the top. Jungle Boy has more. No. Jungle Boy swing is caught. Cody! Oh, 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 oh my god! A spine tingling crossroads! And it's over! What a hell of a match! You remember when he lasted, Jungle Boy lasted 10 minutes with the world champion, Chris Jericho? Absolutely. We thought that was his best performance. I think this was his best performance, even though Cody retains the title. What a hell of a fight! And what a first defense for the TNT champion, Cody! So Cody walks away with the W, but Jungle Boy looks stronger and stronger every week despite losses to some top-ranked opponents. Next week, the American Nightmare will defend the TNT Championship title from Mark Quinn of Private Party. And this is a huge stage for Quinn, so I expect him to bring nothing short of his A game for this one. But Cody's gonna have to try and find a way to keep the high flyer on the ground, otherwise Cody's party is over. Finally, coming in at number one, after months of teasing, FTR's arrival here at AEW nearly broke the internet last week. But when it looked like they'd showed up to finally settle their long-running beef with the Bucks, FTR turned and teed off on Butcher and the Blade. Well, as usual, our very own Tony Schiavone sat down with Cash Wheeler and Dax Harwood for their very first interview, where they made their intentions well known. Really happy to be able to have the very first exclusive interview with FTR. If you'll recall, a week ago on AEW Dynamite, their surprise arrival exploded the internet. And Cash and Dax have joined me here. The obvious first question is, what does FTR stand for? Hey, well, I mean, oh. uh, we got that a lot. Uh, FTR, it's, it's, not a, uh, it's not a tagline. It's not something, you know, we could just print on a shirt or whatever. It's just it's a way of life for, for me and Cash. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it's kind of anything that we want it to be. It's oh. fear of the revolution. It's follow the rules. It's, it's kind of a lifestyle for us. Like he said, it's something that we, uh, it, it takes on a life of its own. Now we're here in AEW. We're here at the uh, the pinnacle, sure. the pinnacle of the, uh, the 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 revolution, the wrestling revolution. Mm -hmm. So right, right now, FTR is for the revolution. AEW has the world's greatest tag teams. Now, now, now. officially, okay, now. officially now. The okay. missing piece. Uh, you can here. print up a poster now. There have to be a, a list of tag teams that FTR wants to face, right? I mean, yeah, yeah I mean, obviously, obviously there is. I mean, we've had a year and a half to think about this, and despite about you know what happened last week, Butcher and the Blade, man, they're a great tag team. You got the uh, the good kids, the, the, the kids, <laughs> very like, great uh, kids, private party, yeah, great, great kids. kids, and we want to work with Santana and Ortiz because we've sure. seen those guys all over the world, and yeah, yeah, yeah. now we have a chance right here under the same roof. You got the Lucha Bros, who are the exact opposite of what we stand for in tag team wrestling. So we're, we're going to teach them tag team wrestling, emphasis on tag. And then obviously we can't forget about the. Uh, the AEW Tag Team oh, Champions. Yeah, sure. I mean, they're not even a real tag team, but Omega and Paige, I mean, What's that's new? that's our ultimate goal. Interesting that you, you mentioned some teams. You didn't mention the Young Bucks. They're what, to me, what tag team wrestling's all about. Of course right? they are, yeah. man. They, of course, of course, they, of course they, you would say that. The dream match everybody's been waiting for. 
it's not a dream match to Cash and myself. It's not a dream match for us. Uh, we've had to sit back and, and uh, watch these guys get awarded with uh, Tag Team of the Decade. We've got to sit back and listen to Dave Meltzer sing their praises and say they're the next Midnight Express. Tony, do you think that makes us happy? Do you think we enjoy hearing that? Well, no. I'm sure, yeah. I don't, sure. don't want to come in here. And I don't, I don't want to have the best Tag Team Wrestling match in history with them. I want to punch them in the mouth. Wow. That's what I want to do. Okay. I want to beat them in three seconds. All right. Okay, then. But you're in the blade. You got into some physicality with them but you didn't attack the Young Bucks. Why did that happen that way? We have dreamed about this moment for the past five years. You can't say one tag team's name without the other being right after, whether it's FTR, but what about the Young Bucks? Or the Young Bucks, but what about FTR? Who's better? And when we finally get the answer to that, Tony, I want zero doubt in anybody's mind. I don't want any excuses. I don't want anybody to say, oh, they were softened up by the Butcher and the Blade. I don't want to hear, they were injured, there was a broken rib, there was a bad back. I want them to be 110%. I want them to be healthier than they've ever been in their lives. When we beat them, Tony, I'd like for you, and I'd like for JR, and I'd like for Taz and Excalibur, and, and all your little uh, commentary friends to come to us and apologize and say, hey man, I'm sorry for the last, uh, the last year and a half. You guys are the best. Whenever it happens, it should be tremendous, and thanks for the exclusive interview, man. Thank you, Tony. All this time, I thought FTR was can I say it here? Uh, FTR was <laughs> the <laughs> Of yeah, course you would think that. Yeah, 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 yeah that's why they've been feeding you. Know? You two folks gotta go through us first. You think you're tough? Huh? You guys think you're real tough? No, what? No, no. Yeah, that's, oh, that's the game. That's the game. You ain't never seen it. Which one you played before? What we did last week, what we did, hey, what we did last week, that wasn't personal, that was business. We are businessmen. Okay. That wasn't personal, it's personal, it personal for you, obviously. Yeah, so if you guys want to settle this, like businessmen, why don't we settle it in the ring where we handle our business? Calm down. Yeah, relax. Yes. Relax. Hey, 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 come on, come on. We'll see you next week. Relax. We'll see you next week. FTR, out. Next Wednesday night, the Peril face off against Butcher and the Blade for their AEW in-ring debut. It's going to be a true litmus test of grit for FTR to see how they match up with the pair from Buffalo. But based on their previous in-ring footage, this is sure to be one hell of a brawl. There you have it, guys, your top five moments of AEW Dynamite. Didn't see your moment there? Don't sweat it. Tune in next week for all the action, including Jake Hager, Santana, and Ortiz of the Inner Circle taking on Best Friends and Orange Cassidy. And be sure and cast your nominations by using the hashtag AEWTop5 and send them to at AE Wrestling. We tally those votes and get you the results right here over the weekend. Until then, be sure and keep up with us on all the social media channels, including Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube for the latest updates and exclusive content you can't get anywhere else. Till next time, I'm Jen Decker, guys. Thanks for being a part of the revolution. I'll see you guys soon.